So the only reason I am making this video right now is because I have an F cigarette that is due at noon tomorrow, and I've only accomplished my first two and a half symptoms. I have also accomplished, however, eating half a bag of carrots. It was like here when I first and it's like 35 calories per nine carrots, so don't go. Yeah. Let's see. So let me talk about school. That's stupid. Why would I talk about school? I'm gonna talk about layman's. Because you can't hear it right now. But Jean Valjean is singing into my com com into my computer. And I look was on the interwebs today. As usual. But I finally was like, alright, I'm gonna go check the latest cast list again. Because every single time I checked it, it was like, oh, Taylor Swift's playing Anthony. And I was very, very upset about that. Like, I wasn't gonna go see it. It was gonna be crap. Because, well, in my opinion, I think it was gonna be crap. Maybe in yours, it was gonna be awesome. I'll take you for that. Anyway, so today I got on start. <clears throat> and... I noticed that T Swizzle T Swizzle was not on it anymore, and instead was Samantha Barks, who in fact played Eponine on the 25th anniversary edition of Les Mis with Nick Jonas. In my opinion, um, and I was just like, oh. Because that made me very, very happy. Because I think she's great. I like her. And people say, oh no, Leah Salongo is so much better. First of all, Leah Salongo is Philippine. That last time I checked. I don't like being that person who's just like a downer and who's a racist when it comes to films. Like, The Last Airbender got loads of crap. Because they're like racist. And I was just like, who cares? But, um... Leah Slonga, sorry, sound just started playing music. Um, Leah Slonga played Eponine, I think, in like the 15th anniversary edition or something like that. The 10th, something I don't remember. But she played Fontaine in the 25th anniversary edition, and I was just like, all right. And I'm sorry if you don't know what wait, what the hell am I talking about, but the hell I am talking about but um go with you because I'm not about to explain the whole thing and anyway so um Samantha Barks though I feel did a very very well done job in the in the 25th anniversary edition she looked the part she sounded the part she was amazing she's British 21 I think I saw and I like her like I like her she's pretty it's not to like if they're pretty. Anyway, and so um, on the subject of the 25th anniversary edition, uh, Nick Jonas was in it playing Marius. And Marius, you know, has a couple, like, main songs. And Nick Jonas, how, you know, you think Nick Jonas and you think, oh, fudge. A Disney star. They just want people to see it. And you're just like, this is going to suck. And then you watch it. And I'm, I'm not kidding you. I was sitting with three of my friends watching him sing. And all of us were just like, this is amazing. Because, for starters, he got out of Disney Channel. Look at him now. He's, what, Darren Chris took over Daniel Radcliffe's spot and how to succeed in business? Nick Jonas took over. Darren Chris, come on. All the hair grease with the curly hair. And he, he was good, and people say he wasn't, and I think, you know, he may not have that exact Marius voice, but for being a Jonas brother especially, he was awesome. Anyway, back to the movie. So other stars in the movie are um, Hugh Jackman's playing the lead character, Jean Valjean, who, um, not going to explain it. 
And so Hugh Jackman, I can understand because I can picture him singing a few of the songs. And it's Hugh Jackman. Who wouldn't love Hugh Jackman? Even though I don't think he's shirtless in the movies. And then Fontaine Eponine's mom is played by Anne Hathaway. Well, I'm a little shaky about that one, you know. But but I'll, I'll hear her sing a couple times. I'll see it. And so then Russell Crowe, who my mom says can't act, but I heard he can, so I'm just going to give him a chance. And then Amanda Seyfried is playing Cosette, who is Fontaine's daughter. I have no problems with Amanda Seyfried. I didn't really care for Mamma Mia, but that's just because I hadn't seen the musical before a few times, listening to Abba, So Child, that kind of thing. So, you know, I'm going to give her the chance, because why not? And she only has, like, one song anyway. Well, let's face it, no one really cares about Cosette. And, um, Eddie Remain, who I haven't seen My Week of Marilyn, but Kenneth Branagh, my husband, is in it, so it's gotta be awesome, you know? Sorry, I keep doing that. Um, and who else is in it? I can't remember, but that's, that's, you know, that's, I'm pretty excited for that. Now, now that Taylor Swift is in it. I'm sorry, I may, I, I like her music that's recorded and redone a million times, but other than that, yeah, not really, so, hope, I hope it's good, wait, you're not here, I hope it's good, Samantha Barks is pretty awesome, so, you know, that might work, never mind, so, now, now I think I've got to do this essay. Bye, people of the interweb. Valjean, at last, we see each other plain. Monsieur the Mayor, you'll wear a different chain.